And I'm the liaison at K-14 Outreach and Partnerships at Finger Lakes Community College. And today I'm talking with our music faculty who are going to uh, would like to share some great information about the music programs that we have at FLCC. So if Dave, I'd like to ask you if I've always had an interest in music and would like to consider pursuing it as a career, what can I do with a music degree from FLCC? Okay, this is David McGuire talking. I am professor of music at FLCC. Um, there are a number of things you can do with a music degree. Um, I'll start by looking at some of the things that are more or less music specific. First of all, this is a transfer degree. So um, when you get this degree from FLCC, if you do well around A-level work, we're going to assume that you're going to be able to hit the ground running more or less as a junior in the context of a four-year degree in a transfer school of your choice. Um, relatively music-specific degrees might be a music teacher. Um, that could be K through 12 or college, if you'd like to teach at college, which is really cool. You'll probably want to be considering graduate school as well. You can be a private studio instructor. Um, you can also be a private studio musician. Um, one really viable degree program right now is music therapy. Um, there are an awful lot of possible uh, career programs that if you're willing to move somewhere out of state, perhaps, you can almost be guaranteed of a job. But with music therapy right now, um, it's enjoying a pretty robust growth and you could maybe even stay more or less where you are and get a job. Um, music business is a really broad one. Um, music background is really good for music business, but that incorporates other areas of interest, possibly law, possibly, you know, financial things. Um, I already said studio musician and, you know, one of the bullet points here is directing, composing and producing music, which is more of a question than an answer because you can go in a thousand different directions with what you direct or compose or produce depending on your interests. Um, one really important thing that we tell people a lot is the importance of networking. So um, even as you are sort of clarifying for yourself what you want to do in the realm of music, you should be developing your network constantly, constantly. And my good friend and colleague, Ines Draskovic is here. I don't know if she has anything to add to that, but she's um, sitting in her chair very regally, so I'm going to turn it over to her. Hi, this is Ines Draskovic. I teach at the music department. And, and um, I really don't have much to add to the transfer opportunities. I just wanted to say that um, we have a particular curriculum um, that is relatively um, in um, in sync with what the four year schools are asking for, um, and uh, in that curriculum, there's not much room for electives, uh, but all that you need as a music student will be in it. So that's that as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Thank you. So. If I was interested in in music recording, then what does FLCC have to offer? Yeah, I'll talk to that. This is I'm Jeff Smith. Um, I'm professor of music and I teach the recording classes. And uh, the recording program and the music program are, are really tied closely together. Uh, there's very little things that the music people do that the recording people don't also do. So you have to do ensembles and you have to play an instrument. And you have to take lessons. You take the theory classes. Um, we're very hands on. So the classes uh, from day one are in the studios, uh, putting microphones in front of things. Uh, and I, I believe strongly that uh, it should be a program that gives the student uh, like a real world kind of um, experience. Uh, we have great facility here. We have some really good faculty and staff. Um, uh, I'm going to turn it over to Carrie. Carrie, do you have anything to add to that? I think you summed it up beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Carrie Ripley. Um, I'm a tech specialist here and I also teach some audio classes. Um, yeah, uh, as Jeff mentioned, a lot of the four year programs, you know, um, starting out, they don't let students get into the recording studios very quickly. It might take a year or two actually before they let them in. And we right on day one, you know, the first week of school, we had kids recording this semester. So we get people right into the studio so they can have that experience right away. Another thing that's kind of unique about, you know, our faculty and staff is that we sort of all come from completely different backgrounds, whether it's, you know, different. Um, types of media or different genres of music. So it's kind of cool for students to be able to take classes with all of us and get our knowledge and our background from everyone. So that's, mm -hmm. I think that 
definitely is a benefit to incoming students. Thank you. So what additional opportunities will I have if I decide to attend FLCC? Why is FLCC a great choice? Uh, hi, I'm Bob Potter. I'm the recording studio manager for the program here. Uh, I should also mention I'm a former student of this recording program. And this program is probably one of the oldest in the country. Most people don't think about it or talk about it, but during this 37 years, it was a small and very um, uh, old school in, in a big way <laughs> programs, uh, early on. But now they've developed into five world-class studios as in world-class equipment, the same gear that you're gonna find in any studio in, in, in the world. Um, and we want our students to have that experience. We want them being able to use all the good stuff. There's no sense in just watching over our shoulders to see how it is we do what we do. They need to be able to do that. And so we have the best of the equipment um, so that they can get that experience for themselves. It also should be mentioned that the, uh, the classes are taught um, in the studios themselves. So they have that experience right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, that's very, very important. This can lead to a number of things that they may want to choose to do. Uh, the gaming industry, video games is huge these days. Our students might transfer into uh, something involving uh, music or audio for video games. Um, media in sense of film or, or uh, videos, uh, audio for video. Everything's tied to YouTube. It used to be MTV and uh, VH1, but now it's uh, YouTube or some sort of uh, streaming program. Um, and we've had a number of students that have gone into the live sound field doing sound reinforcement uh, on tour or clubs or theaters, musical theater, uh, Broadway. Uh, some of our students have worked with folks like Coldplay and Red Hot Chili Peppers, right down to Laura Jones and Sarah McLaughlin. Um, had some real good success stories from uh, students graduating from our program. So it is possible to find employment um, fresh out of this program if transfer is not uh, in the future. Very good, thank you. So if I'm not really sure what I wanna do at this point, and I don't know if music is a career for me, what can I do while I'm still in high school to help me to prepare for a, for a future in music? Um, I'll start with that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a really targeted answer and a really broad answer. The really targeted answer from my standpoint would be to start getting some of the fundamentals of you know the language of music under your belt. So like music theory, get really good at spelling chords, get really good about knowing the difference between chords. Um, because once you get past that initial sort of, you know, basic nomenclature stuff, you can start doing creative work with it and it gets much more interesting. You'll like it then. Um, the really broad thing is if you have more than one interest, consider a double major. Music pairs really well with many things. And I've heard people even as diverse as liking to study law and also continuing to study music or science and music. You know, there are many good applications uh, for sort of like a, a two headed hybrid that is both creative and you know, technical, and that often works very well. Well, thank you all very much. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. I certainly learn more about our music program as I continue to do every time I speak with all of you. Thank you very much. For the students out there that might be interested in considering this program or considering um, finding out some more information about the program, please visit us at www.flcc.edu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Jackie. Bye.